Hi everyone. I look completely mental, I know, because I had a little play um, and, and then thought, oh actually, I want to I wanna film something. So, not this. <laughs> I want to film this. So I'm going to show you how I created this lifelike eyeball. So what we're going to need is some ping pong balls. Um, I used normal, oops, sticky, I used normal, why is my camera, okay, I used normal nail varnish, so clear nail varnish and things like that, but I'm going to use gel polish because it's sticky and so hopefully um, see how it, this comes out. Obviously if it comes out shit then you're never going to see it. Oh. Okay so red gel polish, a top coat, oh didn't even show you, a top coat, uh, I'm going to use a smidgen of white, you're going to use an assortment of sharpies so depending on your eye colour. So you want it to match your eyes. So mine are hazel. So I've got green and blue and brown in my eyeballs. So I've got a green, a blue, a brown and obviously a black for the pupil. Uh, some red wool. Um, I've got some scissors to cut the wool. And I've got my LED lamp to cure my eyeball that I'm going to draw on. I mean, I don't know whether you can see. Like, obviously, this is massive compared to my eye. But, I mean, you don't have to be able to draw perfectly. So this I'm using as a prop. I'll turn the camera around so you don't have to look at my half, my Harvey Two Face. Right, we're going to cut some lengths of wool, some red wool, so however long you would like the eyeball to dangle, and then a little bit more. So I'm going to do roughly that, and you want to cut about 15 to 20 bits and I've got an extra piece of that so this will be our danglies so our dangling bits there and then I've got an extra piece and all we're going to do is shred it On this one, the first one I did, I actually drew some red bits on. I'm not going to draw those bits on this time. Let's see what it looks like without. Okay, so we're going to get our top coat. 
and we are literally going to paint Right, just paint half of it for now. Okay, we're going to get our little strands. Any big bits like that, try and brush towards the back. Okay, so you just want very little, little bits, big fluffy bits like that. Let's get those towards the back for now. Okay, so that can be cured. Okay, and because I'm using a no white, white, no white top coat, as soon as it comes out, it's fine. So then we're going to paint the other, so from here, round here, and repeat the process. Okay, so while that was curing, we've just, like, divided up, so we've got a big, big ball of like pulled apart wool okay and that's what our eyeball is looking like so far okay so on the back what we are going to do is we're going to get our red gel polish I think this one's just about had it as well it's gone really thick and horrible and we are going to paint red and then we're going to stick all of that to it we're going to pop that in the lamp okay and because Mad gel, red gel polish is had it. I'm gonna get in there. It's gonna cure that again. Okay. Now what we're gonna do? Oh, I'm gonna put the lid on that one. Get our top coat. We're going to smother, okay, so I've got a big ball of that in there, with our pre-cut strands, what we're going to do is just, should have done this before actually, just fray all the ends. Okay, so just frayed all of those and stick those on. So then just whack that into the LED lamp to cure, and hopefully, a lot of them should stick down. quite like it. Hold on, I'm going to stick some more down. Okay, so I just went in and just put a couple more just around the base and that's your finished eye. All of this we use to attach to whatever or if you're just using it as a prop just get some blood some fake blood cover that and it would look awesome i hope you enjoy it i hope you enjoy it i hope you enjoy this eyeball um i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you all next time see you later bye